Okay, hi everyone. Um, today I'd like to talk a little bit more about iNaturalist and what you could do after you already got started, you have your username and password and you made a few observations, maybe even joined the BioBlitz. And now you kind of want to look uh, more at what you found. So I'm going to show you, for example, observations from a BioBlitz I participated in a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you could view some of them right here. So this is uh, one of the screens I've got of iNaturalist. I use the same um, username and password that I use on my device. Uh, I use the same thing when I enter the website and then I could view all my observations. I could see the different projects that I'm in and I can learn more because it's, it doesn't end when you share your observation then this observation is now out there and many people could view it. They could help you identify what you saw. They could write a comment. There could be an interesting discussion. So this is where you could learn much more. Um, so yeah, let's quickly look at what the project page look like. So often when we um, organize the BioBlitz, we will have a project page for that event. And this project will accumulate all the different observations that everyone makes during the event. And they're all here. You can see that these are the species that were most observed and how many you know, people participated and all that stuff. Okay, so-and-so observations of 200 species and 31 people uh, that uh, observed different things. Uh, you could view the map which is my favorite part. So each one of these points represent one organism that was observed during the event. Uh, and you can click on each of these and, and see what they are. You could also go into the observations. So let's say we click search and you can view what everyone else found, okay? So these are different observations of you know, animals, plants, mushrooms, everything. These are the different species. If I click right here, uh, we had 201 species uh, documented. And this is the one that was documented the most, uh, the kut, either by different people or even by the same person. Uh, you could see lots of birds here. Uh, let's say I'm interested to see what are just the birds that we've seen. So I could filter the results right here and click on just birds, okay? Or I could ask for um, mushrooms, let's write fungus, okay? And yeah, quite a few things. So these are not photos taken during the events. These are the species photo. These are the actual observations that were made during the event. So there's some lichen and some mushrooms that people found, all sorts of cool stuff. So you could learn more about what other people found. You could see what, uh, like who helped us identify our observations and right here. And you could see, you know, the species, everything else and the observers, of course, very important. Okay, so the other thing you could do is you could look at the specific observation um, and let's see what that looks like. So I'd like to choose this one. Okay, right here, white sage leaf gall midge. So this midge is a tiny little fly that makes its uh, galls on this specific plant. And um, I'd like to choose this one because I, I can show you a few different things. So first, uh, when I identified it, um, I wrote this name and then someone else verified my identification. So they said, yes, this we think this is the species and then it changed into research grade okay because both of us agreed on the same thing um, and and this is great because then people could use this observation for studies and stuff if someone disagrees then it would change into uh, needs more id uh, you could see here uh, different attributes or annotations so we could add whether it's alive or dead the life stage sex it doesn't really apply for a goal, but for other things that could be pretty cool. Uh, the more information that you add is better. So often people have problems, their, their uh, observations don't get, don't get identified. 
And I think the more you add here, uh, you're more likely to get your observations identified. So for example, for this specific um, little insect, well, it doesn't look like much, right? But some people are interested in goals, so they might help you identify it. What you can do is you can add your observation into uh, a correct project. So for example, I added my observation into both the gulls of California and then there's also gulls of North America. So if I want to add my observation into a project, I simply click here and then it shows me all the projects that I'm already, um, that I already joined. I can't add an observation from here to, to other projects, but there are lots of uh, options here. Um, and I keep learning about new projects that I find interesting and then I can join that project and then I can add my observation into that project. So for example, let's see if there's one that we could do now. Uh, you could even type something like goals. So yeah, I could add that one to leaf and plant goals. And then it opens up this uh, menu and ask me for you know all sorts of questions. I already know the host plant, so this is really important. I could say that the goal location is on the leaf and these are called fields. And then I say, add to project. Uh, these are called fields and fields are a really good way to also help you filter out your observations, but also other people's observations. For um, a goal observation like this one, I can add the host plant uh, as this field or host. And to add them, you just click here and then you could type whatever um, um, field you'd like, like host or host plant or whatever. There are a few different ones. Um, and then once you have that, you could filter that. And I'll show you in a second. Before that, I wanna show you that these are the people that identified most of this species observation. So let's say I think this is what it is, but I'm not sure. I could ask one of them. I could tag them by uh, typing at and their username, and then they will see this observation. If they have time, they might be able to help you and identify what you saw. So this is another good option. So adding your observation into um, projects, adding fields and tagging experts. These are all good ways to get um, noticed. And then I wanna show you something cool. So let's say, I'm not really sure. I remember that I've seen this uh, goal before, which is actually what happened. I know the host plant, which is black sage, but I don't remember the species name. I'm not very good with names. So what I, do I do? then I could add that the host plant is black sage and then I can filter. So I click the host here and then I ask to show me all the observations with this field and value. So everything that was found on black sage, I click that and then it shows me everything that everyone else found on black sage. Uh, in this case, there are not that many. If there are so many of them, I could continue filtering the results to narrow down um, the search to maybe just say only my observations here, or I can add someone else's username here, or I could write down a place. It could be just in San Jose, in California, just in North America. It could be as big as or as little as I'd like or only in specific months. So there are lots of different ways where you could filter uh, results here on iNaturalist. And I think that's very useful. In this case, I could see, oh yeah, the, it is that species. This is what I, I documented in the same place just a month earlier. So cool, now I know this is what I've thought. And yeah, this is the identification that I put uh, in the past. Another thing that I wanna quickly show you is that um, once you know the name, this is just the beginning. Now you could learn more about what you found. So you could click on the name and it will take you into the species page, okay? So here you could see um, where it belongs in the um, taxonomy right here, the hierarchy. You could view everyone else's observations or everyone's observations of that specific species. You could look at your obs observations of this species you could view it on the map, which is beautiful. And you could directly go to Wikipedia. Unfortunately, we don't know much about this species, so there's not much here. Um, and you could again go to taxonomy, status, similar species, lots of things. 
depending on the species. For some, you know, there's not much, but for other species, there could be a lot to see right here. So again, there's so much more we could say here, but I think for this short video, this is pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.